to dawn curfew is on at least for the next 60 days with mourners and wedding goers expected not to exceed 100 people. This follows the increasing number of COVID-19 infections as the country glares at the third wave of the coronavirus disease. But President Huru Kenyatta's directive to ban all political gatherings may be his misdoing. Five months ago, the president made a similar directive, but weeks later, he, together with other political leaders, hit the streets to drum up support for the BBI bill. Just what may be different this time? Political gatherings have been flagged down for fanning the increasing coronavirus infections in the country. President Uhuru Kenyatta once again tightening the anti-COVID-19 measures. The mode of recovery. In November last year, President Kenyatta banned political and social gatherings for 60 days, asking politicians to shelve their meet and greet plans. All political gatherings and rallies are suspended for a period of 60 days and this to take effect immediately. A few days later and the political class was at it again. President Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga leading the BBI campaigns. Deputy President William Ruto touring several counties to advance his hustler narrative as Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi attended similar gatherings. President Kenyatta's 15th COVID-19 address was no different. Kenyatta once again prohibiting political rallies for another 30 days. Today I direct that all forms of political gathering be and are hereby prohibited for a period of 30 days effective midnight on this 12th of March 2021. But Kenyatta's directive may end up being just tough words with the BBI campaigns expected to kick off next month as the country prepares for a referendum. The timing of the one-month ban in political gatherings is also suspect, with pundits arguing that the president was being calculative. By the time the one month is over, the BBI bill will have gone through the parliamentary stage and campaigns to woo the public to pass it at the referendum will be on top gear. <laughs> Kenyatta has also ordered that the dead be buried within 72 hours with the number of mourners and wedding goers being limited to 100 people, the dust to dawn curfew being extended for another 60 days. In regard to funerals, cremations and other interment ceremonies, it is directed that these ceremonies shall be conducted strictly within 72 hours of confirmation of death. Four, it has further been ordered that attendees for funerals and graveside crematoria ceremonies or crematoria ceremonies shall be limited to the immediate family of the deceased with a number capped at no more than 100 persons. That at attendees of celebrations of weddings and other traditional unions and rites is hereby capped at 100 persons.